Oh boy, oh boy, ever since Trump won the election, we are starting to see meltdowns across the board when it comes to the opposite side on the political spectrum. And it's funny to me that a lot of these people on the left, they tend to preach prosperity, love, peace, and all this stuff, even nonviolence to an instance. But the irony of it is that when things don't go their way, they often tend to to not focus on their preachings and do the absolute opposite thing. And that is what we're going to be getting into here today, folks, as we're having Activision Blizzard employees appearing to contemplate violence following Donald Trump's election. And before we do get into this, please don't forget to subscribe, like, or dislike. It doesn't matter. It helps this channel, and I much appreciate it. And another thing that I want to point out is how the employers still haven't fired these employees that are contemplating violence because I could guarantee you if a employee was a conservative and once again had these contemplations of violence for the opposite party they would be fired in an instant but today's job market tends to fare well with a lot of left-leaning people because a lot of employers are also left-leaning when it comes to them promoting DEI and all this kind of stuff as we get into the article. So we're having an alleged Activision Blizzard employee appears to have begun not only contemplating violence, but sharing it with others in an internal company Slack. And this is where it gets absolutely insane. So we're having multiple post by grumps over on twitter slash x him saying this more slack leaks from activision blizzard dev contemplates gun violence other devs now see the benefit of armed self-defense they are losing it source insider at activision blizzard status confirmed and once again here it is the same side that is preaching to ban or outlaw guns of the ownership of weapons are once again now running for them because things didn't go their way and here are the messages with the people's names being blurred out for protective reasons i guess and it just shows you where these people's heads are at just because a person won an election that doesn't revolve around their political opinions they think it is the end of the world they think they have lost it all everything they've ever worked for in their lives is just going to completely vanish and it's also to the point where a lot of people are contemplating just leaving the country like how self-entitled are you to have a U.S. citizenship in which many people throughout the world would kill for just to become a U.S. citizen, and yet you're able to give that up and just move out into a different country. It's absolutely insane to me, and this is what they have to say. So this person said, it must be working on something blank, making me more violent, but I have never been more tempted to buy a gun. Arm the left, another person said. After all, an armed minority is harder to oppress. If you can't afford it, get life insurance. No one fights harder than insurance companies. And if more minorities get them, then it'll be harder for hate crime to get swept under the rug. Grums would also share even more tweets, pretty much saying that Blizzard and their employees are an absolute meltdown. A lot of people are losing their minds over the results because it didn't go their way, such as what Grums stated here. A lot of people are crying, panicking, leaving work early. Trans people are talking about buying guns, and people are passing out crisis support line numbers. Like, how mentally ill is this country within its current state. I can't believe we're having grown adults that have a fully developed brain acting as if they're a child because they didn't get what they want. And keep in mind that this isn't just a small population of the workforce over at Blizzard, but apparently it's being reported that nearly 50% of employees are having these types of situations where they're just in absolute panic mode because Donald Trump was elected and not Kamala Harris. And once again, it all comes down to the employer and what their mission statement is with the president of Blizzard being right here, Rob Kostich, saying this, this culture journey is one that never ends. We will strive to improve every day. This is an essential global team effort that we will continue to refine together. I am thankful for so many of our employees who passionately drive our DEI efforts, and I'm inspired to do the work with all of you to positively impact our people and our players. And, well, we know how that is going on with Blizzard. Blizzard has fallen from what it once was known for, creating great updates to now having these new updates for especially World of Warcraft that really aren't resonating with players and a lot of people are just finding it to be a giant waste of time 
and a waste of life to spend this amount of energy on their products. And this is just an example of what we're going to continue to see until eventually Donald Trump takes office and is set within the White House. And until then, it's still going to get even more crazy. And I can't wait to see the people's reactions when Joe Biden steps down and Trump is once again president. And with all that in mind, don't forget to subscribe, like or dislike, share, comment. I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.